Hey guys, welcome to my shop. I'm Pierre from Can-Am, SpiderAccessories.com. A little while back, we came out with the RT trailer hitch. We also have one for the F3s, uh, and we have a plug and play harness for that. When we did the installation video for the trailer hitch, we never had at that time a plug and play harness for the RT. We have one now. So, I know you've been waiting for this, guys. I apologize for the wait. Just been really busy. So, here is the long-awaited video for our RT Trailer Itch plug-and-play harness. Our plug-and-play harness uh, fits RT model uh, can spiders from 2010 all the way up to now 2017. So no changes, same harness for all years, all models, RT, RTS limited. So just to give you a little summary of what we're actually going to be doing, we're going to need to go underneath the seat where the passenger sits down. That's where I like to say that the heart of the spider is. This is where we're going to go with the plug and play and we're going to use this Y junction to unplug and plug owls and, you know, female, male, female, male, female. And that's where we're going to do all that. Now, uh, to be able to do that, we're going to be taking off a plastic that's on uh, the left hand side. That's uh, when you're sitting down on the bike, left and right. That's how you tell. So on the left hand side, near the <coughs> excuse me, near that handlebar, is actually a pl uh, plastic. We're going to take off two torque 30 screws, and then we're going to swing it towards the inside of the bike. That's going to allow us to just move it enough to have access to the wiring. We're going to do the wiring, and then we're going to fish it out. Now I'm going to show you how to fish it. Uh, by removing uh, the side panel, we're, uh, we're going to remove one panel and make that uh, black textured plastic with the bumper and the license plate. We're going to make it fall down a couple of inches and that's going to open up like an air pocket near the one of the rear lights and that's actually where we're going to fish our wire to. Now underneath the left hand side saddle bad, if you're at the back of the spider and you put your hand in about a, to your wrist and you pull your fingers towards you, you're going to see there's like a little opening. Now this is where we're going to get this part. This is where it's going to come out. If actually you don't use the trailer very often, we're actually just going to squeeze that there and only this part will be visible. And since it's got a cap, like a cover, you're not going to get any dirt in there. So just leave the cover on there. And when you need it, you'll be able to do that. And uh, whenever you need to uh, use the wire, if you use the trailer like twice or three times a year, then you can just go ahead and pull on the wire. It's going to be like I said, like in a pocket hole there air pocket and you're going to pull on it and then just strap it you know alongside the trailer hitch all the way up to your trailer if you want a more permanent setting then we're still going to do that but then you may want to use some split loom i'll show you what split loom is later and you may want to take this wire here okay and instead of having it four wide you split it down the middle between the uh, the yellow and the brown, and that's going to give you like two on top of each other. It's going to make for a smaller size split loom tubing that you're going to be using. It makes it nice and neat to run along the inside. I did say the inside of that trailer hitch. For a lot of the screws that are torque 30 on the Canham Spider, I like to use a drill, but I'm not talking about like the big drill that you, uh, you know, you put screws in a, in a wooden deck or something like that when you're building a fence. I'm talking about a little small electrical screwdriver. I like the torque on this. It's not too much. It actually just stops at the right place because it doesn't have much torque. And I can just go ahead and put that little torque 30 bit on there. But for this now, for the first part actually, Second part, you'll be able to use one of these if you have it. But to be able to get underneath the seat, when you put up your seat, and this is where the plastic you need to get to, by putting up the seat, as you'll see, well, it's going to be kind of tight. And I'm not sure the screwdriver will fit in there. So you need one of these small little ratchets where you can just put on that torque 30 bit. This is going to work just fine. On this can -Am Spider RT that we have here in the shop, it's a, uh, we have an ultimate seat and it's really heavy. And as well, if you can see where my finger is pointing, it's kind of tight in that area there. And it makes that the seat sometimes wants to fall down. So you're probably wondering why has he got a hammer? Well, actually, that little wooden mallet there is actually just the perfect size to come underneath here and give it a little extra support to make sure that it doesn't fall down. So let me go. All right. So first of all, there are going to be two crews to take out. Let me just back out here and uh, give you a little perspective. So as we go in here, this is a plastic that we're going to have to remove that I was telling you about. So this part of plastic here is actually held down by two screws. 
You got one right here and you got the other one right here. So let's go ahead and remove those two screws and then we'll take that plastic and then we'll swing it inwards so we can actually just get underneath right here. This is where the electrical is going to take place. Now for the part where we're actually going to remove the plastic now. Um, by pulling on this a little bit here, you can see it's got a little bit of give to it. And when it does, you'll get your hand in here, okay? And you can just start to pull from the inside. You see the hole that's there? You can just pull a little bit on it and you can see that it's starting to move a little bit. It's kind of loose in there, but you understand that there's this little dome here and you have to be able to get it underneath that. So you have to find a balance between pulling on it too hard and breaking it and then just be able to swing it underneath. Here you can see that I already have my, my plug and play harness that's installed there. So that's actually going to help you to see how we're going to be organized later on. And it also shows you that it's this harness here that's on the BRP that you'll need to get to. And it's easy enough to see because it's actually, well, it's the same as the one that you're putting on. So it's got to be the same size. And there's not another one that's the same size. There's just this one here. So to get to it, because it'll be on this little thing here, the back, the back of that was actually hooked on to this here. So you'll need to just push it towards the inside and it's gonna come loose. And when it does, then you're gonna, I'm gonna go get a small screwdriver and you'll need to insert a small screwdriver inside here to be able to, there's a little lock mechanism here and you'll just need to pull with a small screwdriver inside that and pull on this at the same time and it's going to come out. I've already did that so that's why it comes out so easily. If I push it back in and it clips, it's actually there now. Okay, I'm going to go get my screwdriver and come back and do that. As you've unplugged this now, you can see that you have the other one down here. So you can go ahead and do the same thing. I'll just, you won't have to, but I will. I'll just do the same thing. I'll just lift this up here and unplug it. There we go. So what you have is these two parts right here, right? So you've unplugged them and now you have a male, female. You have a male, female on this one here. So you'll just go ahead and plug those together. One. And two. Now for that part, we're already finished. That wiring already works. Now I'm going to show you how to fish this wire to make it come out underneath the left hand saddle bag. To be able to fish our wire, we're going to need to remove this panel right here. So open up this. Uh, I'm talking about the panel that's here and goes down on the sides here. And to be able to remove that, we're going to have four screws to take out here and four where the saddle bags are. So We'll go ahead and open up the saddle bags and take out those screws. For this part, it's nice to have that electrical uh, screwdriver that I was talking about. It's going to be useful for that. If you still have that little screwdriver around, the flathead screwdriver, it's going to be useful for this here. We're going to need to uh, make sure that we bring down that cylinder. So if you take the screwdriver and just insert it here, you'll see there's just the clip. You want to insert the screwdriver there and pull it towards the outside. And what's that's going to do? It's going to open up the clip and at the same time you pull on the cylinder. So cylinder is there by inserting that and pulling the clip. You push on the cylinder and it just comes out. You can just lay it down. So the four screws that you need to remove are one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Just go ahead and repeat the same exercise on the other side. Now the fun part, removing BRP spider panels. It's always a little well, my heart always skips a little bit. You know, we never like to pull on the plastic a little bit, but we're going to need to remove that panel and we're going to start by uh, unclamping it on 
both sides. So to get the best camera angle, I'm actually just going to, I'm going to show you one side, but you're going to be doing the same thing for both sides, right? So let's go ahead with the right hand side here. You see the plastic, these are the two screws that you removed before. Now the plastic piece is actually, there's a little piece of plastic from this that goes inside here. And same thing there. So it's about like uh, two inches by two inches if you want, right? And you're going to have to lift on this here. So you got to get your fingers underneath the plastic towards the front. And you're going to have to pull up on it and towards the outside. This is about like at a 45 degree angle because this plastic here is going to be hitting it hitting the bottom of this one here. So it's going to scrape along that plastic. So you can't lift it up straight. You have to go on an angle. It's like 45 degree angle towards the outside. Now that I've lifted this out, I can feel on the other side, it's just going to come loose because there's no more pressure. So I can actually just put one in here and then take my left hand and go towards the left hand side to make sure as I pull it out, I'm not scratching the other plastics. So as I got my hand on the left hand side and I'm pulling on it, it's just going to come loose, but I just want to make sure I'm not scratching anything. So I got it here. As you can see, I do have a wire, so I'm not going to be able to go far with that. I have a light at the back here with a wiring. Since I couldn't go far with my piece because I do have the wire here, I was able just to switch it uh, and flip it on the back of the seat. The reason we removed the panel was to have access on this side here so we can fish our wire through. Now, when I was telling you about the air pocket underneath the left-hand saddlebags, this is what I was talking about. So if you put it in your hand about up to your wrist and you pull towards you, you're going to see there's a little gap there. And I'm going to take a shot of this video and edit it in. And uh, this is what we want to get to. Now, to be able to get there and get to the air pocket and fish out uh, wire properly, uh, we're going to need to remove this panel. We actually not remove it. We just want it to fall down a little bit. And you have three bolts holding this down. One, two, and three. And it's still talk 30, so we'll just take those out. Now put those aside because they're actually smaller in length than the other one. So you don't want to get them mixed up. So just put them aside to another place so you don't get them mixed up.